most important thing I learned in school was how to jump off of a tree stump five feet off the ground. Eight-year-old me towed up to the stump and tried not to look down, but instead at the threads of rope in my fingertips. Threads beneath a knot I'd have to jump to while falling through the air. One, two, three. No way. Impossible. Summer did it. Lisa did it. Judy did it. They jumped one at a time from stump to rope and swung through the air laughing. Every time I climbed back up to try, I thought maybe this time something will be different. The rope will be longer, or my arms will reach farther, or my heart will just stop beating so fast. But then one day, this voice inside me said, Stop thinking. Go. Jump on three. One, two, knees bent, mind went blank, three feet pushed up and off, and I was midair, scrambling hand over hand up the rope, legs wrapping around the knot, body falling to the base of the pendulum swing, then rising up, up, up into blue freedom. Oh, to fly after only watching. Then I was hooked, hooked on the gap between knowing and not knowing, the distance between threads in my hand and a vision out of reach. One, two. Every milestone in my life has hinged on the silence between two and three. I'm right back on that stump every time I write a poem. I drop words at my feet, fumbling for the courage to push from predictable into midair, to find that blurred moment where possibility exists in a flurry of arms and legs reaching words and images scrambling to catch a knot where momentum takes over and I am hurled to a place where I might fly <sighs> or fall. Sometimes I forget. In fear, I let go of a dream, or I leave it dangling by threads for years. But then this voice inside me says, stop thinking, go.